Hello guys, welcome to What V Want, a technology vlog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add watermark to PDF. For more information about this tutorial, visit our article. Link provided in the description. If you are new to our channel, click on red color subscribe button and turn on notification for regular updates. In this tutorial, I have covered the best methods involved in adding a text and image watermark to PDF document. The list of softwares used in this tutorial are as follows. Wondershare PDF Element Adobe Acrobat DC PDF Candy DefT PDF And, a free offline method, Clever PDF. Without any delay, let's get started. Number 1. Wondershare PDF Element Visit the Wondershare PDF Element official site and download the application. Check description for the link. After installation, launch the application. And, the interface will be seen as showing in the tutorial. Click on the Open Files option. Then, a window will pop up. Browse and choose the PDF file from that window. And, click on Open to import the file. The workspace of the Wondershare PDF element will be seen as showing in the tutorial. Click on the Edit option located at the top menu. Then, a list of options will be seen, in which watermark is one among them. Click on the watermark option. A drop-down menu will open with two options, such as Add watermark and edit watermark. Click on Add watermark option, as we want to add a new watermark. Then, a window will pop up. Click on the plus icon. Then, it shows watermark types like text, PDF, and image. Here, I'm choosing the text type by clicking on it. And then, it asks to create a watermark template as showing in the tutorial. Enter the text in the text section which you want to add as a watermark. Choose the font from the font section. And, choose the color and text styles from the available options. Increase the proportion of pages to increase the watermark size. And from the position section, choose the location to place the watermark. Later, click on Save. Then the template is created and it will be seen on the bottom of that window. Make sure that the template was selected, and click on Apply. And that's it. Text watermark is added to the PDF document. Now let's add an image watermark to PDF. Launch Wondershare PDF Element application and import the PDF file as discussed in the previous method. If you haven't watched it, jump to the timeline displaying on the screen. Click on Edit option and select the Watermark option. Choose the Add Watermark option from the list. Then, a window will pop up and click on the plus icon. Watermark Types window will pop up. Here, choose the image option by clicking on it. Then, you are asked to create a watermark template. Firstly, click on the three dots located in the image section. A window will pop up. Browse and choose the image from that window which you want to add as watermark. And, click on Open. Then the image path will be displayed in the image section. Modify the size of the image watermark by changing the percentage of proportion of pages. Click on the icon, showing in the tutorial to view few more options. There, you will find the options regarding Appearance Position And Page Range Later, click on Save to save the template, and it is displayed at the bottom of that window. Make sure to select the image watermark template and click on Apply. That's it, image watermark is added to the PDF document. Number 2, Adobe Acrobat DC. Visit the official site of Adobe Acrobat and download the application. Check description for the link. Launch the application and the interface of the application will be seen as showing in the tutorial. Click on the Tools option located at the left top of the window. And, there you will find all the tools of Adobe Acrobat at one place. Click on Edit PDF option from the Create and Edit section. Then, it asks you to import the PDF file. Click on Select a File option. 
And then, a window will pop up. Choose the PDF file from that window and click on Open to import. After importing the PDF file, all the editing tools will come to visible state. On the top menu, you will find the watermark option. Click on it. Then, a drop-down menu will open with three options, such as Add, Update, and Remove. Choose the Add option by clicking on it. Then a window will pop up. Enter the text in the source section which you want to add as a watermark. Choose the font of the watermark from the font section, and size using the size option. Modify the color and alignment using the options displaying on the screen. In the appearance section, modify the rotation and opacity of the watermark. And, from the position section, choose the position where to place the watermark. Later, click on OK. And that's it, watermark is added to the document. Now, let's add an image watermark. Launch and import the document as shown in the previous method. If you haven't watched it, jump to the timeline displaying on the screen. Click on the watermark option, and choose the add option from the list. A window will pop up. Here choose the file option in the source section. Click on browse option and a window will pop up. Browse and choose the image file from that window. And click on open to import the image. Modify the options like rotation and opacity in the appearance section and choose the location to place the watermark from the position section. Later, click on OK. That's it, image watermark is added to the PDF document. Number 3, PDF Candy. Visit the PDF Candy site, and it will be seen as showing in the tutorial. It provides a lot of tools that helps to work with a PDF. Click on the Add Watermark option from the Tools list. It will redirect you to the Watermark tool. Check description for the direct link to this watermark tool of PDF Candy. Here, you will find the Add File option to import the file. Click on it and a window will pop up. Choose the PDF file from that window and click on Open. After importing, the file will be seen. Enter the text for watermark in the text section. And choose the location to place the watermark on the document by clicking on the drop-down option showing in the tutorial. Later, click on Add Watermark option and it will take some time to add the watermark. After the completion of adding the watermark, you will see the download page. Click on Download File option to download the file to local storage. You can also save the file directly to Google Drive and Dropbox. Now let's see how to add an image watermark. Visit the watermark tool to PDF Candy and click on Add File option. Choose the file from the window and click on Open to import the PDF file. After importing, you will find the screen as showing in the tutorial. Instead of entering the text, click on Add Image option. Then, a window will pop up. Choose the file from that window. And, click on Open to import the image for watermark. Choose the location of watermark by clicking on the drop-down option. Later, click on Add Watermark option to start the process of adding the watermark. After completion, you are redirected to the download page. There, you will find the download option. Number 4, DefTPDF. Visit the official site of DefTPDF and click on the All Tools option. There, you will find all the services provided by DefTPDF. Click on the watermark option available in the Edit and Sign section. Then, you are redirected to the Watermark Tool page. Check description for the direct link to Watermark Tool. Click on Upload PDF File option. Then, a window will pop up. Choose the file from that window. And, click on Open. Then, you will find the interface as showing in the tutorial. On the top of the page, two watermark options are available like Add Text Watermark and Add Image. Here, I'm choosing the text watermark. Then, a watermark will be seen on the document. Click on it to edit the text. You can also modify the text with the available options like Opacity Color Font and Recenter. Later, click on Watermark PDF option located at the bottom of the page. That's it watermark will be added to the document and the file will be available to download once the process is completed.
Now, let's add a image watermark. The whole process of importing the PDF file is similar to previous method. If you haven't watched it, jump back to the timeline displaying on the screen. After importing, select the Add Image option. Then a window will pop up. Choose the file from that window. And, click on Open. Then, the watermark is added to the document. To modify the watermark, it provides two options like Opacity and Recenter. Later, click on Watermark PDF option situated at the bottom of page. That's it image watermark will be added to the document. And the file will be available to download once the process is completed. Number 5. Clever PDF. Visit the official site of Clever PDF and the interface will be seen as showing in the tutorial. It provides 44 powerful tools which are absolutely free to use. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the download option. Clever PDF is available for Windows and Mac platforms. Click on the option according to your operating system. Here, I'm choosing Windows. It will redirect you to the download page. Click on free download option to start downloading. Install and launch the application. The interface will be seen with all the tools as showing in the tutorial. Click on PDF watermark option from the list of tools. The, you are moved to PDF watermark page. Click on, add, option situated at the top left of the window. Then, a window will pop up. Locate the file from that window. And, click on, open. Then the file will be seen at the column. By default text watermark will be in selection. Enter the text in the text section. And, modify the watermark properties like Font, Size, Rotate, Transparency, Layout and Position. You can also choose the output folder by clicking on the folder icon indicating in the tutorial. Later, click on Start option. Then, it starts the process of adding the watermark. And after the completion, you will find the document name under the status section. Now, let's add an image watermark. The process till adding the file is similar to the previous method. If you haven't watched it, jump back to the timeline displaying on the screen. After importing, select the Image Watermark option and click on Choose File option. A window will pop up. Choose the image and click on Open. Modify the watermark properties with the available options like Rotate, Transparency, Layout, and Position. Choose the Output folder by clicking on the folder icon. Later click on Start option. Then, it starts the process of adding the watermark. And after the completion, you will find the document name under the status section. That's it for this video. Hope you like this tutorial. For more information, visit our article. Link provided in the description. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.